So is this an astonishing warning for Earth? I didn't know this. Moon's magnetosphere was once twice as strong as Earth's magnetosphere, and it died mysteriously. Well, there's something mysterious happening with, happening with our magnetosphere because it's decreasing 5% every 100 years, and it's increasing much more rapidly the past few 15, 20 years, according to space weather. Now, this is on Sputnik News. The magnetosphere is the main force protecting our Earth from powerful solar radiation and cosmic rays, which constantly bombard our planet. And without our magnetosphere, our planet would quickly become an uninhabitable wasteland. We know that they are, however, coming in at the poles. We also know that hundreds of tons of oxygen and atmosphere are being spewed out from the poles into space, and they don't know why that's happening. Now, researchers at Massachusetts Institute of Technology discovered that the moon once had a powerful magnetic field, and in fact it was twice as strong as the Earth's magnetic field, but that it was weakened before petering out completely, but then that happened about a billion years ago from what they estimate. According to their research, they published their findings in this month's issue of the Science Advances Journal, the moon's magnetic field was powered by a powerful dynamo effect generated by a phenomenon known as core crystallization. This phenomenon of core crystallization is said to have worked like this. As the moon's inner core cooled and was crystallized, the core's electrically charged fluid was stirred buoyantly, producing a dynamo effect. Dr. Benjamin Weiss, MIT professor of Earth Atmospheric and Planetary Sciences and the Studies co-author says that the magnetic field, quote, is this nebulous thing that pervades space like an invisible field. We've shown that the dynamo that produces the moon's magnetic field died somewhere between one and a half to one billion years ago, and it seems to have been powered in an Earth-like way. Now, Dr. Wise and his colleagues were able to come up with an estimate of the former power of the moon's magnetic field using lunar rock collections by NASA's Apollo project. And they showed that samples, the moon samples, up to four billion years ago, gleamed with evidence of a strong magnetic field from the moon, roughly 100 microteslas, or a unit of magnetic flux density. By comparison, Earth's magnetic field, field is estimated just as half of that. It's at about 50 microteslas currently. Later, the scientists studied other younger moon rocks formed about two and a half billion years ago, and they showed readings of below 10 microteslas. Now, with the passage of time, the creation of the new moon rock dwindling as the volcanic activity which created them stopped. So from 100 microteslas, they went down to 10. So what happened? This, Weiss explained, has made finding rocks from three billion years ago or less difficult, it has made studies the past three billion years of lunar history a mystery because there's almost no rocks re uh, re recording this uh, change in the moon's magnetic field. In a stroke of luck, Apollo missions did collect samples of lunar rock created just one billion years ago, apparently formed during a collision which melted down and welded rocks back together again, these samples showed a virtually non-existent magnetic field. It measured at just 0.1 microteslas. So in this way, scientists were able to determine that by a billion years ago, the moon's satellite uh, power, uh, once powerful magnetic field, was non-existent. Scientists estimate that the moon's magnetic field was actually powered by two separate phenomena with core crystallization being a long-term, weaker force compared to something called precession. The latter phenomenon is believed to have been caused during a period when the Moon orbited much closer to Earth, with its solid outer shell wobbling and stirring up the molten fluid in a lunar core as it reached to our planet's gravitational pull, generating the powerful 100 microtesla magnetic field. And based on their findings, Weiss and his colleagues believe that the precession effect remains dominant until about two and a half billion years ago, 
when it was succeeded by the weaker core crystallization phenomenon, which itself died by one million years, one billion years ago. Earth's protective magnetic field is the magnetosphere, as we know, protecting our planet from powerful solar and cosmic uh, radiation. And even with this protective shield, intense solar flares from the sun are capable of causing damage to man-made infrastructure on Earth and in space. In 2011, U.S. scientists calculated their repeat of a kind of deadly storm which hit Earth in the Carrington event in 1859 could cause up to $2 trillion in damage and take years to repair. So without a magnetic field, Earth would be left helpless to solar radiation and cosmic radiation, making it virtually uninhabitable by carbon-based life forms. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.